Hey, what's up guys? It's Nate. So today, we're going to figure out a way to make all of these fit into my truck while still having access to the bed. And as you can see, I've got them all just kind of piled up here in the backyard. Got this pretty good spot right here I'm going to clean out for the kayaks to get stored in. But I wanted a stand that could store them back here and then I could move that same stand into the bed of my truck and transport these bad boys when uh, me and the family go out and uh, kayak and fish. So let's see if we can get it done. Alright, so we just got back from Lowe's, picked up uh, a bunch of PVC pipes and a pile of adapters for them. And we're going to build us a nice little stand to fit right in the bed of the truck here. So, stay tuned and we'll see how this turns out. Alright, so here's all the pieces test fitted in the truck. Looks like it's going to work out pretty good. Got the top rack for two kayaks, bottom rack here for two kayaks, and still plenty of storage space. Pretty much the entire bed of the truck have a bunch of storage space. And uh, yeah, looks like it's going to work out. So we're going to get all this stuff glued up and see how it looks when it's finished. Alright, she's all glued up, time for paint. We'll be painting it with this uh, Krylon Fusion all-in-one glass jungle green. Glass jungle green. Alright, it's painted green. Paint day is done. Pretty much all we gotta do now, add these little foam pieces to the top. Across here. Something to kind of protect the bottoms of the kayaks uh, once they're on there. So, pick these up at Lowe's. They're just a little piece of pipe insulation. It's like a dollar or two a piece. Um, yeah, if they don't work out, we'll probably get some pool noodles this summer. 
replace them with pool noodles or something if uh, these don't hold up. But I think these will hold up just fine. So yeah, let's get these put on and uh, this thing will be finished. Looks like I've got enough strap left over. I can do the sides here. Do all four of these corners and then our top kayaks. I'll probably just pick up another one of these and get those top four corners. Yeah, why not? All right, there it is, completed. Nice foam pads, fits in the back of the truck perfectly. It's easy to move, so this is gonna be used to, like I said, store my kayaks out back when we're not using them, and instead of piling all four of the kayaks up in the truck on top of each other, I got this nice little rack now, and I'll have space to store stuff in the bed still. So, you know, when we go camping, what have you, you take the kayaks along and have room for the coolers and anything else we might want to bring so yeah about 80 to 90 bucks got a nice little PVC kayak rack built here and like I said I'm gonna link in the description below the uh, uh, material breakdown all that stuff so if anybody else is interested in building one let me know so for now we're gonna get this thing in the backyard and get the kayaks on it see what it looks like all right so here we are got the kayaks on there they all fit nice and pretty I think this thing's gonna work out pretty good. Nice little kayak storage. We've got a little space to put the paddles in between. So this thing's gonna hold four kayaks. And uh, yep, gonna be nice and easy to transfer it from back here underneath the underneath my little porch overhang into the bed of the truck, and be able to take this bad boy wherever we want to go. So far, it seems pretty sturdy. Uh, it does have a little bit of play in it when you wiggle it, but I think once we strap it down to the truck, it shouldn't be an issue, but that'll be a video update for another day. Let you guys know if these things fly out going down the interstate or something, if this whole thing just falls apart. So yeah, uh, if you like this video, be sure to subscribe, uh, hit the like button, and uh, stay tuned for some more videos. Springtime's coming, and we're going to have these yaks out in the water.